All right, y'all, what's going on? I hope you are enjoying your day. We're looking at a truck cab interior tour, so not even just like a basic interior feature like we've seen in a past video, but more of an in-depth tour uh, from an actual truck driver explaining it to us. I'm really excited about this, and uh, of course, it's a Scania, which... You know, I love Scania's and uh, what better truck to tour, right? So this is Truck Cab Interior Tour for Newbies, a Scania R500. And this is from a channel called Trucker Cassie. Looks really, really cool. This will be linked in the description down below. Check her channel out, okay? I know I'll be checking more out in my own time. Uh, we're just going to skip around this video as it's quite long and in-depth, which I really appreciate. Uh, but I'm going to skip around a little bit. And like I said, use that link and you can watch the whole thing later. This has been suggested to me by dozens of people at this point. So thank you for that. Let's get straight into this, guys. I'm excited. Here we go. This is Cassie here. I am a Swedish truck driver since around 10 years now. Awesome. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, I drive trucks in Sweden. I have tried uh, lots of different trucks through the years. And I know that most of my followers are truckers already. And Whoa, look at this thing. It looks pretty spacious in there still, honestly. And uh, look at that. That's wild. Big dashboard. <laughs> You can literally set up a ring light and her phone. That's pretty neat, actually, seeing the behind-the-scenes stuff like that. I assume this is all, like, overhead storage. You know what a truck looks like. But this video is actually going to be aimed a bit more towards the people that have never seen a truck before. I still think it's wild. I've ridden in so many vehicles, you know, regular trucks and cars and, and so on. But I've never been in a semi-truck like this. Really would like to someday. Looks fun. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, what is so that the truck called? I'm gonna show you is. First of all, beautiful Scania. I mean, when are they not awesome? They're just freaking awesome machines. And that's weird how it's like this small trailer almost on the truck. You see how the truck's really long wheelbase? I don't know if I've seen this setup yet. Then it's got an actual trailer behind it, uh, detachable, right? That's weird. Truck I normally wow. drive on the weeks. That's a it sharp is truck. A Scania R500. Dang. R is the the like type of cab yeah we're driving we have s we have p oh we have cool r uh, and something else I'm okay 100 sure but that tells you what size of cab right a truck cab can be very different sizes true this one is i think this is the maximum height on a truck and 500 is the horsepower amount okay. so this truck has 500 horsepowers I do believe the biggest uh, engine has it's like 750 or something. something 770, yeah. The maximum weight Wild. of uh, truck and goods combined is is around 64 tons in Sweden. If you have uh, all the axles and uh, length and everything, this truck can weigh 62 tons, but the cargo I drive is usually not that heavy. So normally it's just the rig weighs around 30 tons. Okay. Somewhere. So we don't have to have the maximum engine power for these trucks. That makes sense. It's different if you... Uh, well, I mean, that's still ample horsepower. And yeah, if they're not pulling maximum weight, you don't need the top tier one. And uh, I'm sure this one is a little more efficient, probably better fuel mileage than the 770 would get. And with full, full weight capacity all the time, that's when you need the extra engine. They can be very different in like equipment, yeah. kind of seats, and uh, that makes sense. Yeah, it can diff a lot. Damn, that's a nice truck. Trucks that look the same. Okay, so look at this. Three steps up. Wow, it is taller than it appears. Uh, one of those things, like with camera, right? I'm sure this is much bigger even in person than it looks on a camera, right? Uh, these things are so cool, and we do have a lot of awesome big rigs here in the United States that I see every day on the roads, but it would just be cool just to be different. It would be cool to see a uh, Scania like this. That would be so neat. We just, I don't see these. It sucks. Okay, so we're just gonna begin. Here we have three footsteps. Wow. Uh, four even. Well, yeah, I guess this it would be a four step gloves. in, yeah. And this is a fire extinguisher. Wow, look at all the controls just by the seat. Here we have um, air. This oh, is okay. air pressure, but I will get back to that. This is cool, getting a first-hand tour um, like this. Yeah, we can begin with uh, the share buttons. Here we have the heater. Nice! Small heater, big heater. 
and also a cooling fan. I think it's cooling, but I don't use it. I'm height adjustments. Wow, okay. Look at how big that truck is. Shoes off. Whoa. Okay. So, first of all, you can stand up straight in this truck. That's cool. I am 175 <laughs> centimeters tall and yeah, I can touch the roof, but that's about it. God, the American to me, I'm like, how tall is 175 centimeters? <laughs> and we have a roof hatch here, Whoa. or a window that you can open from a button. That's cool. You can have a like and a shade. Oh, that's kind of neat. Hatch, or you can close it. Oh wow! This one, if you if you really need some darkness. Wow, that's really innovative. Like, when sleeping when sleeping early during the summer times. Also here we have storage, right? A microwave. Oh, microwave. Which is a lifesaver. Okay, that's works. That is awesome. That is so useful being on the road. And if you are, that's your home and office, right? That truck, that is like a lifesaver. That's really cool. Like a normal microwave. And this one is so nice to have because yeah. you tend to eat uh, lots of uh, like bad food on the road. And right. Really ex and it's really expensive. Yeah. Having a lunchbox with you mm -hmm. that you can heat mm -hmm. up is really nice. Yeah. Uh, this hatch is empty. Nice amount of storage. Used more if uh, I actually slept in my truck, but I don't. Okay, right. I have done it like twice on one year. Here we have the coffee maker. Oh, nice. I don't drink coffee, so I don't use it. I would be using it's it. It's actually <laughs> brand new. Nobody, nobody has oh, used look, it. Oh, look, it's got the uh, owner's manual and everything. It's only a coffee maker. Wow, it's a literally... A Scania coffee maker. Really? <laughs> That's so cool. The main yeah. bed. That's cool, yeah. And here we have the second bed. Wow. That is neat. stuff on a small surface. Especially in a cab over. That's a very impressive there we go. And use of space. In place like that. That's why we these are fascinating the to me. We have a little space here where you can put stuff. That's cool. Some controls. Adjust the lighting. Yeah. And, and also the roof. Look at this curtain. Scania like a privacy shade. And I love how it's got the uh, Scania logo. That Their branding is so cool, you gotta admit. <laughs> These are darkness proof. That's really cool, yeah. The most important thing, the stereo. That's cool. Oh, wow, it's a touchscreen. No kidding. So you have all your... Camera, display, all your, your usual setup there. Yeah, look at that. Um, Scania Infotainment Premium. I mean, that is crazy, isn't it? It's really cool. These trucks, anyone who thinks these trucks are just work trucks and bare bones, nope, these things are loaded, man. It's like a, I mean, let's get real. This is like a premium vehicle, like a premium car, I guess you could say, inside, right? <laughs> it's really cool. It's a good mix of tough industrial work truck uh, mixed with some, lux uh, some luxury. And uh, I think that's really neat. So yeah, when you listen to a podcast or music, you just have a big pause button here. And all that deactivates when you're driving slowly and have this camera activated. That's it's cool. like forcing you to look at it. <laughs> and it's uh, wow. a bit frustrating because you have to open the phone and pause the podcast from there. Oh, okay. And I don't want to miss anything, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's true. It's cool that she points out some of like, the features that are wonky or, or could be improved that's how every vehicle is it seems like there's always some annoyances right that that they could change or you wish i would change it's more distracting than i thought they intended it to be oh well big Otherwise, mirrors yeah you have seen like this is my point of view yeah when i'm driving my truck very cool i mean very good visibility especially in the cab overs i think it's pretty obvious they have better visibility just because you don't have the big hood um, sticking out in front of you so you have some advantages there uh, you have a very high up point of view so i'm sure she can see over traffic quite easily looks like the shifter is right there so i guess this is a automatic yeah or an automated manual i suppose but again that's very cool i i used to think like all um semi trucks were manual transmissions fully manual um stick shifts and I guess nowadays they aren't. It's pretty wild. 
how many breaks you're taking. Wow. All that. And here is the cooler. This truck is a refrigerated truck. That's cool. Uh, I have never used this in this truck actually because there has been no Impressive. need to turn on the ignition. Tons of options in this truck. Look at that. It's like this. That is so cool. Okay, so look at, oh. Okay, so what's the red line in this bad boy? These things, is a 500 horsepower version uh, like she's in, is this still um, a Scania V8 or is this down to the inline six cylinders? I can't remember. A typical diesel, right, makes all its power down low. I wonder if the blue means where it makes peak power. I'm not sure if anyone wants to weigh in on that, but of course the red line looks about to be 2400 RPM which is funny because that's so low, right? But that's how diesels are. And I'm assuming this is kilometers per hour. Okay. And then it's got a lot of info. It's very cool to see. I mean, this is just, it's got like a TFT display in the middle and then analog gauges on the ends. I really like that. I think that's it's neat. Like this. Tons of controls and that sensors. You and... heard is the Alco lock. Oh. Uh, some of the trucks on this company have this, some don't. And you blow for a few seconds. Oh. And it's, it won't let you start the truck. Okay. If you're not sober. Gotcha. Which is a good thing. That is a good thing. Uh, it You could complain and say it's annoying, but you know what? It, at the end of the day, it is a good thing because, yeah, you're driving a big vehicle, super heavy. Uh, this thing is a, a rocket on the road. Like, it's a weapon, right, if it's not in the right hand. So uh, you want everyone to be sober, coherent. Yes, safety in mind, that is uh, really cool that it has that uh, built in. It's pretty interesting. You control the menu from here. And this is my favorite part because you can see all the axles on the truck. Oh, that is neat. How much weight they have. Wow, that's so cool. And also on the trailer. Oh, like wow. Back in the days, you had to count how much weight you have because some roads have a limited weight. Have a weight. weight limit on some roads, yes. You're not allowed to drive everywhere with a big You can just access that at the push of a button on these? See, this is the part, it's like, I didn't know about that. That's wild. Truck. That is super yeah, convenient. So this one shows <laughs> which is amazing. The speed goes here, the fuel tank. Nice. And blue tank. Here we have the back lift and the the light inside the wow. truck. Wow. Here you can adjust the height. That is crazy. This is the front, this is the back, and this is where you normalize everything. Windows, adjust the mirrors. Wow, even mirror power mirrors. Heat, lighting. Look at it's all those. It's really logical. Yeah, you know what? At first it looked like a lot of buttons, but then it, it's really not. It all makes sense. It's most of these wouldn't be too hard uh, to learn. And not in a sense like, obviously to be a truck driver, you have to be skilled, you have to be trained, licensed, all that. That's not what I'm saying. From a test drive point of view, uh, you can learn at least what these buttons do. It's pretty cool. Uh, but no, I, I would never jump in this and think like, oh, I can drive trucks now <laughs> and haul freight. That's uh, new, that's, that's not that easy. This one, if it's green, it will make a horrible sound when you're driving over uh. a line oh okay like lane blinking. keep and it's always super frightening and it freaks me out so i always turn this off yeah sometimes i do that in our newer car too because it, it can get a little picky and uh, start barking at you and it's like nah, i know what i'm doing thank you <laughs> usb usb wow this is where i charge my phone tons of chargers Warm power Two outlets for drinks cup holders oh yeah one third. Or one I like how it has this tray here where she can keep some snacks, uh, headphones, whatever, right? That's really cool that it has that ample storage. It makes it easy to essentially, uh, if you had to live in this thing, or at least you'll know, spend long hours in here, it really makes it easy so you can keep everything organized and not floating around on the floor of the truck. It's really cool. One for the passenger. Here Look at have... these. These are wild to me. Pull out fridge. How freaking cool is that? Look at all you can keep in there too. She has a decent amount of stuff in there and it's not even full, not even close to being full. I have sandwiches. That is water, so cool. Everything you need. Wow. And it looks in place like this. That is neat. Here. Pull it in. 
Really cool. Ready for more stuff if needed. <laughs> wow. Also, the passenger seat doesn't have uh, many like extra features. Here, you have a place for some stuff like wow. papers and such. Also, here you can put stuff if you want to forget about them forever. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's always that one storage compartment that's like, oh, that's cool, but it's really out of the way, and she nailed it. <laughs> you put something up there, it's way up there. It's not in your peripheral vision. Um, you're going to forget about it. You might put something there and <laughs> find it three years later and be like, oh, <laughs> that's where that went. Gotcha. This is a great feature. <laughs> this one is connected to the air of the truck. Okay. Sounds loud. So you can just what the whole cab just open up the doors and blow everything that's freaking crazy it even has that you have on command little air gun right there and you can kind of just clean stuff out like psh, psh. okay this truck thought of everything, everything out. with a modern truck to be manual these days that is wild at least in sweden and i think from what I've heard, now, of course, I'm not a trucker, so I can't say this for sure. Uh, but I still think here in the United States, it's the opposite. I, I think a lot of trucks, not all of them, but I think maybe half of them or a third of them are still manual transmissions here. I think that's still holding on here, as far as I know. But I have heard from you guys, a lot of trucks in Europe are automatic. And, and like I said, a few months ago, I never even knew that. So that's very interesting to uh, me. Yeah, you just shift this one wow drive neutral reverse that's wild yeah it's that easy that's very you easy can, uh, <laughs> push it upwards and downwards if you need to shift manually i was gonna say okay good i was gonna ask she just confirmed that you can still shift uh, or select a gear so to say in some crazy situations right where maybe uh maybe you're trying to go through some snow or maybe you're on some heavy grades going through some mountains or something that's cool that you can still uh, have the option to select certain gears if you would like so that's good otherwise i would have a big shifter here exactly <laughs> I don't miss shifting actually to be honest yeah you know how do you guys feel about the moved automatic i suppose it's better in a lot of ways uh, some people still, I'm sure, miss the feeling of shifting. But at the same time, getting rid of the big shifters down there, look how much room it frees up. I mean, this this looks like a nice oh, place to be. This is where the help brake is located. Gotcha. You pull it downwards, and the further down, the more it breaks. Oh, This is to okay. save uh, the main brakes of the rig. Oh, okay. Because truck brakes are expensive to change. Okay, gotcha. Let's look at the driver's seat, because as a truck driver, you obviously spend lots of time sitting down. So it is important that the driver's seat is adjustable enough and that you sit comfortably in the truck. We have armrests. Not all trucks have this, and I don't understand why, because it's so nice to have to just relax the back. Look at that. Way back. Wow, you can even recline it. Maybe you don't want to sleep on the bed. Maybe you just kind of want to take a quick nap in the chair, reclined. That's cool, too. <laughs> Imagine driving like this. Hey, I mean, some people drive like that, you know. <laughs> Hopefully no one driving a uh, Scania drives like that. But I w think we've all seen those people at a stoplight. You look over, there's some car, and, and the, the person's like way back, like... How the hell do you even see? Your your head is below the steering wheel. <laughs> In the cab? No kidding. Driving without... So, that's different. Does anyone else do this? I mean, that's very interesting. Uh, she drives with no shoes. Okay. I suppose it's more comfortable. And as long as she knows how to control the pedals uh, with no shoes, so be it, right? I mean, that's very interesting. I mean, it helps keep it clean. And like I said, would be comfortable. I mean, especially if you're spending long hours in there. Uh, you want to be comfortable, so... Without shoes is definitely my favorite because the feet are feeling happier about it. That's really... It's more comfortable and the cab will stay clean for a longer time. There you go. That Yay. makes sense. Such a cool logo. So how does it feel to drive a big modern truck? I think well, it must be, be cool. to be honest, I've been driving trucks 
for 10 years now. That's I still amazing. get this wow feeling when driving a big truck. And I still remember the first time I was driving a truck. It was like a wow experience for me. Oh, I bet. And I really felt like, wow, I'm, I'm a grown up now. <laughs> I'm a grown up. <laughs> you are in charge of a big, expensive vehicle, ex probably expensive cargo. Yeah. You have a big responsibility towards yourself and uh, everyone around you, basically. Yeah. And I really think people who don't drive trucks, when they get their driver's license for a car, I think it should be mandatory for everyone to at least ride along for a while in a big truck and see the point of view of a truck driver. Yeah. What angles you should look out for. Like, look at that. Like I said earlier, look at just on camera, her point of view here. Like this, this truck, you see our, our point of view, we're towering over traffic. Like, look at all the cars down there. It looks very interesting. Like I said, like she's saying, I think it'd be very fun. Uh, even after 10 years, she still has fun driving it and is like, wow, like I'm in a big truck. Uh, but at the same time, it, it could be a lot of pressure sometimes. I'm sure it can be stressful. I'm sure that uh, the responsibility is always on your mind. Like I'm in a big truck. This is expensive. The cargo is expensive. And uh, this thing can be really dangerous if you're not careful. So <laughs> it is a big responsibility, but uh, it's one of the most important jobs. Again, I always give a round of applause. Uh, to her and any other truckers watching this, any truckers around the world, um, I think it really does truly make the world go round. I always say a lot of things you touch every day uh, were on a truck at some point. Uh, we rely on them. So uh, shout out to all the truckers out there keeping the world turning. That's what I always say. Uh, very important job. Not be in them and just learn why trucks are doing what they're doing why we need some more room to turn around in corners, why they're slowing down uphill. Why yeah, and again, this goes without saying, everyone always respect trucks on the road. Don't be aggressive towards them. Don't cut them off. Give them room. If they're turning or something right in an intersection, just do whatever you can in your car within reason to, you know, make sure that everyone can share the road. A faster downhill, that's pretty logical, but some people have no idea why that happens. And I think we need more understanding mm, and yeah. forgiveness towards each other. So that is such a good looking unit. I'm going to stop it there. We did skip around uh, quite a bit. I really so hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. Um, seeing a Scania up close like this uh, in real time with a real tour from a real truck driver explaining all what all these little functions do and where everything is. It's super fun it's very educational uh this was an excellent video so this will be linked in the description down below make sure to check the full thing out and check out her channel excellent suggestion guys uh great video by trucker cassie here seriously awesome would love to see your comments on this what does your truck look like inside and have you ever if you're not a truck driver have you ever ridden in a beautiful truck like this uh, I certainly would love to throw a like on there if you did enjoy this and learn something. And of course, subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have here. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, y'all, I'll catch you later.